I'm running so late, well not so late, I'm gonna be like five to 10 minutes late for my hair appointment, but I'm gonna be in there for probably four hours. So my makeup is like half done, I ran out the door without mascara on, and we have to get Starbucks because I'm gonna be sitting in there forever. And this hair, I, I feel like when you're coming up to your hair appointment, like you can't go another hour. Like your hair just knows it's due. And we're waiting on your food. Perfect, thank you. Just to show you how in desperate need I am of getting my hair done today. It doesn't even look that bad from this glance, but like underneath is a different freaking color. So we need to get this mop done, get blondified. I think I'm gonna use like Sydney Adams as my hair inspo reference because this has gotta go. <laughs> Y'all, I have no words. My hair girl is a god. I feel like this is the most beautiful blonde I've ever had in my life and it's perfect timing because hubby and I are gonna go on a little date night and I just am obsessed. She said this is like a very Scandinavian blonde which is very in right now. I can't even believe I was walking around like that. I mean, look at this. Who is she? She cute. I feel like getting your hair done as a woman, it's the same thing as like getting your nails done. It makes you feel feminine, it makes you feel sexy, it makes you feel put together. I feel like a whole new me. I've just been sitting around taking photos of my hair and feeling so confident and like, I love it. I literally love it. My sister does like a very 90s haircut, she says, with like really chunky layers. So there's a few face frame pieces like right here that just go underneath the chin and the way that she framed it and the way that she blow dries it is actually perfect. Oh my God, I feel like me again. I feel like me again. Official date night outfit. Got a cute little tank top on, cute little jeans with little high heels. We're gonna go have some wine and have a hot date. Can't let this hair go to waste. is a few days later I actually ended up going super spontaneously I went to the Taylor Swift concert so in my hair appointment my sister called me and offered me to come to Taylor Swift with her and my sweet hair girl basically convinced me to go because I was like I have to go home I have to work I have to do things this weekend and we had gone out for that little date night which you guys saw and I had some fun food I had some I forget what we had we had like lettuce wraps which were good but then we also had some dessert we had some drinks and then I went to the Taylor Swift concert and I also had some fun foods and some drinks and as I'm on this little six week wellness journey myself this little glow up journey I wanted to have a goal of not drinking any alcohol which is super easy for me like I I think this is the first time I've been drunk all year <laughs> was at the Taylor Swift concert for me I really wanted to take these six weeks and eat as good and nourishing for my body as possible I wanted to steer away from like eating out from having alcohol just like really going all in on my health my wellness my energy and these amazing opportunities came up like going to the Taylor Swift concert going out for a hot date with my husband and I really feel like I've been practicing balance recently and I think that's an important message that I just want to share with you today is that you can have alcohol, you can have fun treats, you can go out for date night, you can go out to concerts as long as you are taking time outside of those fun events to really pour into your health and your wellness, you can have both. You don't have to just write off alcohol, you don't have to stay in every single weekend, you don't have to make every single meal at home. but I enjoy making my food at home. I enjoy staying in and taking care of myself and getting good sleep and staying in a routine. But it's also fun every once in a while to really switch it up and like make memories, you know, and go out for the date night, go out for the concert, go out to, you know, wine night with your girlfriends. So remember that no matter what your health and fitness goals are, that you can have it all. It's just about balancing it. And I like to use that 80-20 rule. You've probably heard of it. It's like 80% 80, 80 of the time focus on eating nourishing foods, on steering away from alcohol, staying hydrated, waking up on time, all that good kind of like consistent stuff. 
And then 20% of the time, you should be enjoying yourself, being in the moment, enjoying food, enjoying drinks, enjoying whatever you enjoy. So it's all about having everything in moderation. But I just wanted to add that before we close out this little video of self-care. It was such a great few days. I feel like the last week has really nourished my soul. I know that sounds kind of cheesy, but getting my hair done, getting a facial. I got my nails done while I was home. I went to the Taylor Swift concert. I had an awesome like girl girls day at the concert with my mom, my sister and her friend. And we just had so much fun. I had a date night with my husband and life is just really good. So I'm glad that I made this tiny little <laughs> self-care vlog. I hope that you loved it. I hope you love just like coming along and seeing what my life looks like and how I'm kind of balancing my health and wellness goals with also having fun and celebrating life and having drinks and going to a concert and being fun and in the moment. So I love you guys. Thank you for being here. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.